Good afternoon guys, so here we are in Da Nang for one final day, so it is our last day here in Da Nang and we've just got a couple of things that we've been wanting to do or revisit, um, so that's what we're going to be doing today guys, and take mm. you guys along with us. So. As today's nice weather, yeah we thought we'd adventure around, yeah, like exactly what Kim mentioned, do everything that we want to do. So starting off here with the cat cafe, so it's not just a cat cafe, <laughs> even though on Google it does say it's a cat cafe, there are lovely dogs here yeah which we've gotten um quite accustomed to so we remembered a few of their names which is quite cute yeah so the last time we were here was on uh, dion's birthday which is yeah. quite some time ago now <laughs> it's uh, over a month ago over well a month. over a month and um to the cat cafe it is she does rescue the cats and then it is 10k to go into the room to play with them and that 10k per person does go to you know of course supporting the cats their abandoned cats mm. along with that you can buy like cat food or dried chicken for 5k per bag and yeah you can feed them have fun with them and it's kind of good because I mean since being on the road for some time we kind of miss our pets back at home and this is a good way to just, yeah, help a companion I guess yeah. should head on in soon look at the kitties mm. take a look at the dog though they're actually really responsive look out come here come here Look out. Look out. Look out. Come here. Not that responsive today. <laughs> a bit tired, I guess. Hey. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Love it. Back out, back out. Hey. They're all swarm of Dion because it's got the food and there's so many just taking a nap so it's actually really nice and so for me I wasn't really a fan of cats until recently when I met Dion. Dion has a cat and that's when I became fond of cats but other than that I'm definitely a dog person. Are you guys a dog or a cat person? Let us know. So that was the cat cafe and it's actually really cool. There's so many cats that she's helped, you know, rescue and house and they all seem really happy and well fed. <laughs> mm. There's also a donation box. So if you guys ever make your way here or visit by any chance, there's a donation box that you guys can donate to the actual establishment itself. Mm. But along with that, there's heaps to offer. There's a long extensive menu. So if you're not into coffee, definitely grab a drink here. Um, there's milk teas and shakes. Yeah, so I got a smoothie and there's also an iguana. So lots of interesting <laughs> things, dogs, cats, iguanas and the whole works. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I could spend the whole day here. It's just so fun just playing amongst the cats and dogs and yeah. Yeah, let's but, head to lunch. Yeah, we're starving. getting hungry, so let's go to lunch. <laughs> So we just made it here, ordered the two special, which has everything in it, which has jaku and jaka, which is fish cakes and the prawn, uh, sorry, crab cakes. And then I'm wondering what else is in there because I believe there is, might be uh, pork in there as well. So let's grab a table and sit down. Alright, so for lunch we have mangan, which is the tapioca starch noodles. 
and we got this special which has the crab cakes, the fish cakes and bones, pork bones. It looks good, it looks like a very loaded bowl, it's so big and it's a Michelin so we thought you know on our last day we tried so many Michelin, why not go for one more? <laughs> which is a dish we haven't had in a long while too so why not right? And along with that is we had to go for a local spot as well because we love our local foods and we kind of miss these kind of foods sometimes. They also have galap as well, which is a fish. Ooh. I'll give you a look at that, but the galap, wow, it looks so meaty. Fish cake as well, it looks good. And another surprising thing on the side is chili is right, but they've added crispy pork crackling. Oh, I, I am such a sucker for that. I can eat a whole packet, it's just so good. They chose the wrong table to put this at. We're gonna demolish the whole thing. You yeah, for the noodles. I love bangan. Out of us two, I probably like it more. You're more yeah. like the whole two noodles, right? Yeah. You can try it as is, but yes, of course, it's fish sauce and some dried chilies on the side. Wow, my mouth is watering. So don't get me wrong, I love bangan, but mm. only when it comes to the kind of sticky, very sticky kind of um, bangan gu, which is a crab. Thick one. Thick the broth. Thicker broth, yes. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna try the fish cake. It's really um, rich. Wow, it's just a good broth. Lots of fish essence. It's really good. Wow. It's really good, huh? Peppery as well. It's a very, very fragrant broth. And I've noticed one thing since being here. All the seafood broths are very, very flavorsome. Yeah. Look how delicious that is. Packed with flavor. Take that bite. And look how much fish you get. Mm. I've already had some, but there's still so many pieces left. And the fish is just really soft. And it's good. It's honestly really good. That fish cake is so good. Wow. I'm loving the fish cake here. I could just eat sticks and sticks of it. That's spicy. Wow. Fish is spicy. I just had it. The demo, the pork crackle, is so spicy. It's so spicy to the point where the actual pork crackling itself is bread. Wow. It's good. I don't know where to attack. Mm -hmm. There's a crab. Can't wait for this actually. The crab. I love the crab balls here. Well, wow. wow. So you guys are probably wondering, since our uh, video when we ate Hotu and we covered, we had concerns with the weather and such. So since then, it's only been maybe about a week. Just uh, under, right? Under a week. And um, for us, it's been a week. And since then, another typhoon did come through. It was initially expected to be a typhoon, but I think it was just kind of like a major storm, so it wasn't anything um, significant. But the warnings were to kind of stay inside, and a lot of people to pack up their umbrellas and put weight on top of their roof, the housing, just to make sure, just to kind of uh, be prepared for this big storm, this typhoon. Um, so that came through about three days ago, and we've been trying to find the time to go to Barnard Hills, as you know, you guys have encouraged us to, and as we also wanted to. But now that we're on our last day, there has been no time to go since you know since we arrived, yeah. filmed other vlogs, got sick, and then these typhoons and the monsoon season. Uh, unfortunately, we're just not going to be able to do it this time. I mean, we could. I think today was probably the, one of the only days we could have done it, but we weren't too sure because the weather's always changing. It's unpredictable in Vietnam. Yeah. So right now, you probably won't be able to see it, but the clouds here are super grey. It's so cloudy. I, to be honest, I give it about an hour before it starts raining. And the rain here, so as you mentioned, it wasn't so much of a typhoon, it was more of a tropical storm yeah. and it flooded a lot of the beaches. Yeah. For it to flood the beach as well, it's just crazy because the beach, I mean, how do you flood so a beach? The waves were two to four meters, uh, there was lots of flooding in kind of the lower, uh, lower housing area, like the lower level areas. Um, depending on how your house is, it was kind of downhill and you know, a lot of locals came out, they started fishing and doing all sorts of things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just love how the community comes together to support each other yeah. and through a crisis it's always like helping each other out so we saw um, online that people were trying to cross the bridge, people on scooters like us and there was cars blocking the wind and you know that was also happening in Hanoi where the typhoon Yagi took place so it's really nice to see everyone kind of come together. Yeah. The feeling's such, different too, right? So it's tragic events. I'm glad the community kind of gets together and helps each other out. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when we were in our hotel room, we just felt really bad because everyone was taking precaution, taking their banners down and everything. And yeah, like Kim said, putting weight on their roof. And we just thought it was just so, so like tragic, I guess. Yeah. Having to witness that. We were really worried. 
but we're so glad that it wasn't as big it wasn't as big as forecasted which was really helpful so it kind of just went past and um has moved over to allow and i don't think much damage it's just minor damage which is you know which is really fortunate yeah you know that is so spicy i know oh. Oh. <laughs> not gonna lie like, they just packed it with so much chilies wow. after taking the first bite of that demo it just feels like rapid fire like talking because my okay. mouth is on fire i can't think straight yeah. i feel like i have spicy noodle and we're doing a spicy noodle challenge right now <laughs> the fish is so fresh mm. the fish is flavorsome i love the fish cake the fish cake is so good i can't say this enough i can't stress it enough but it is incredible how tasty it is mm -hmm. i really like the noodles and the broth honestly it's so packed with flavor it's so good incredible meal what a day it has been so far we still got one more stop guys yeah not gonna lie i think i did it again i didn't realize that this was a michelin selected restaurant <laughs> it is so hidden they are humble about it once again they've hidden the michelin selected award and yeah what a nice bowl and next spot hopefully the weather does not turn crap but um yeah hopefully we get to have some sights to see and hopefully it's a nice place Hello. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, so we are here and we are just at the rooftop bar. So we're just going to make our way upstairs. Yeah. And if you watch my solo vlog, this was the last destination that we were actually, I was supposed to take you to. Uh, but unfortunately the weather didn't permit, so here we are today. Why not, right? So at this rooftop, you can actually see airplanes taking off. So, so incredible. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Never in my whole life would I imagine seeing a plane like that like, take off. Yeah. To be honest, I thought it was gonna take off because it's raining. No, I think it just started to rain now, but Wow, it's so crazy that there's a rooftop so close to the airport. I mean, who would have thought so? And it's very beautiful. It literally beautiful sits here. like on the borderline of the airport. There's probably a hundred meter gap of Greenland and yeah, it's us. It's crazy. No one here, just us. I mean, and it's also undercover. So the other day I actually could have gone, but this is good because you get to join and we get to go together. Mm. Better. I mean, yeah, you still get to see everything. Even though it's raining, you still get to see everything. It's really amazing here. Another thing as well, it's really, really like refreshing. It's nice that it's raining, but we're not getting wet. Yeah, that's so true. And there's lots of greener, greenery around, so it feels really fresh, huh? Yeah. I like it here. I like it. This establishment is really nice. Hmm. It's a couple of levels. So downstairs is kind of a working cafe. Up here, I saw some games that you can just kind of like hang out, right? So hmm. cool. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, looking at all these planes, they kind of like, I kind of miss flying. It's been a while. Yeah. It has been a while, huh? I like almost don't remember what it feels like taking off in a plane or just yeah, just going somewhere different. I mean, even though Vietnam has been beautiful, yeah, I kind of miss flying. Me too. Such an epic location. Mm. <laughs> it's so nice being able to see these planes just take off once again. Yeah, once again. Ordered a cool drink. What was mine again? Yours is the Blue Ocean. Mocktail. Mocktail. Fancy. And I got a fancy grape yakut soda oh that sounds incredible gotta drink it with my pinky up <laughs> mine's so hard to hold <laughs> wow. so our time to in da nang has come to an end it's been what six seven weeks yeah an eventful six seven weeks to be honest once we got here i didn't anticipate any typhoons any weather changes i thought it was gonna be clear skies and just a, an amazing time but it has been an amazing time nonetheless yes we we're, were able to get a lot of rest as well since we were sick for that two to three weeks yeah. recovery so it's actually really great to be back uh, fully recovered right yeah. and yeah so we didn't initially expect to spend that much time here in Danang, but we are not complaining we are so lucky and fortunate oh, and it's been such a blast guys honestly we hope you guys have also enjoyed this journey with us um, because we definitely have mm. So the next destination we're going to... Mm, can you guys guess? Yeah. <laughs> so 
So even though this video will be out hopefully soon, the next video you'll probably understand where we are. But in the meantime, if you guys want to take a guess in the comments to see where we're going to head off to next mm. and what adventure we have lined up. Yeah, so make sure you're subscribed and the notifications bells is on um, so that you can continue to follow our journey. We'll see you guys in the next one. Shouting in my trap top, trap top, yeah, we sticking, acting like a high spot, high spot, and she really wanna ride away.